Looky, looky, looky. Turn my headlights on. Boom. Spotlights on you, boo boos. Brutus. Hey, Brutus. Can I go make a video after this? A 20 minute video? He's like, yeah, I've heard that before. Hey, YouTube. It's Sean Griffin RC Planes. So, if you just saw the video before this one, you saw that I wasn't able to fly the Edge 540 today. My favorite weather app, the one that I've told you guys all to check out, it, it let me down big time, man. Today was like waiting on Christmas morning. L looking at that thing last night, it was saying four mile an hour wind all day long. The temperature was only going to be like 170, something like that, but it was going to be good wind. As soon as I got to the park, I looked at the windsock, and it wasn't limp. That thing was standing straight out, man. And it was like that pretty much all day long. And I kept checking my app, and it kept saying 4 miles an hour, 7 miles an hour. No, it was like 40 and 70. So, we didn't fly the edge. But, you know, I like making cool little, uh, little test stands and stuff, you know, like this. If you want to win this jet, all you have to do is subscribe. You know, kind of like this one here. This is the one I made for setting up your flight envelope. You know, instead of having a full safe select that'll keep the plane level for you, you can have a flight envelope and you can decide how far you want the plane to bank. And you can check your degrees out right here on this little scale I got. And so that's a cool little thing I made. Check this other one out. You know, this is my uh, center of gravity stand. When you get your, pla uh, your, your plane, when you get your wings on your plane, you can set your plane on this and right here on these pivot spots in this padded right here and that's how you can position the plane back and forth and figure out your center of gravity so I thought we could try something like this and actually see the wind going through the cowl and traveling through the middle of the fuselage and the wind exiting out of the bottom of the plane just for the fun of it let's see uh let's see if the air actually travels through i figure something like this be all right i can get the prop spinning a little bit and then we'll look under the plane and we'll figure out some little gizmo to see what kind of airflow we have coming out of the bottom let's see uh let's see what happens if you're wondering what in the heck is this guy doing building a cardboard wall and stuff well last weekend this is my Tower Hobbies Edge 540. I've only flown it a handful of times, you know, maybe 10 tops. Just because it's not my go-to plane, and uh, and that's it. That's the reason why. And I enjoy fiddling with these things just as much as flying them. Sometimes I kind of I kind of think to myself, you know what? I hope tomorrow it's raining. That way I can stay, you know, home and, and fiddle with them instead of uh, going to the park flying. So, one of the successful flights that I had with this plane where I was getting more comfortable and I was actually really flying it, the telemetry in my radio goes off every 30 seconds. And at one point it said that the ESC, electronic speed control, got to 151 degrees. And that's not over the limit at all, but that's, that's above my other planes. I'm gonna land it. The temperature's pretty, pretty dang, dang warm there. The wind just quit, so I'm gonna turn around and land the other way. What a, uh, what a landing. What a landing. So, at that point I stopped and the ventilation holes on the bottom of the fuselage where the air should exit out. You know, in theory, the air should go through these two holes, travel through the guts of the fuselage, cooling the motor, the ESC, the receiver, the servos, your battery pack, and then exiting out of the bottom keeping everything cool 
Well, I had a friend hold the plane and I was giving it some throttle and I put my hand under it and nothing was coming out of the ventilation holes, the exit holes. So then in the video a couple back, I cut this little smiley face out down here to where more wind can go into the, uh, the cowl and hopefully flow right through and exit out. Well, today I wasn't able to try that just because of the weather. So I figured right now, let's build a little dam, get the prop spin in, and let's see what's coming out of the bottom. Why not? What else do we have to do, huh? So, let's put that wall up, and then uh, we'll get a pack in it, and then we'll put the camera down here, and we'll see if we can see the wind coming out of the bottom. I'll figure out some little doodad that we can see kind of blowing or whatever. So let's see. Oh my goodness, my plane got stuck in a wall. <laughs> Here's what we got going on, folks. We are testing just for the fun of it. You know, what else do we have to do? To see the airflow go through the fuselage, over the motor, over the speed control, over the receiver, over the servos. Everything should be cooled by the outside air and then exiting the exit holes on the bottom of the fuselage. So let's build a little dam here, and I have sealed up where the wings go. You know, the wings are normally under the canopy right there. So a little aluminum foil has that all taken care of. And then the exit holes are here and here something like this and then we're going to get on the back side under the fuselage and see if we have anything coming out of the back here's what we got we got our setup we got our little cardboard dam here we got the aluminum foil covering up where the wings would go so the fuselage is sealed up we have a makeshift little feather right here the first set of ventilation holes on the bottom of the fuselage are right here and we got one more set right back here so let's give it a little bit of throttle and see if the feathers blow the whole tail wheel look at that it's working just like it should that is all right. All right, throttle cut on. Let's move the. Let's move our feathers to the rear and see. Okay, test number two, the other exit ventilation hole is right here. So when the air goes in the cow, over the motor, over the speed control, over the receiver, over the servos, cooling them all, and out the back of the airplane. Let's give it a little bit of gas. Throttle cut is off. And it's working. I can feel it on my hand down here too. And it's blowing our little feathers like it should. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Well, I thought that was pretty cool to see the wind go right through the through the front of the front of the plane and you know right through the guts of it and, and out the back was really neat. So this is Simba right here. He knows he gets his attention in the workshop. Anywhere else in the house he's kind of standoffish and Plus, he's the newest member to the family, and the other, the other guys are, are jealous and stuff. But Simba's cool. He, uh, he's a rescue a few years ago. So, anyways, hey, that's all I got for you guys. I thought that was pretty neat. Hopefully, tomorrow we'll go fly it, and and then, uh, then I'll report back. Well, hey guys, I can't say thank you enough. Hey, subscribe if you haven't. That really goes a long, long, long ways. I'm serious about giving this jet away at a at a thousand subscribers i don't see why we can't i've noticed we've lost a bunch of subscribers 
and I've also noticed that way more people are not subscribed than subscribed. And if it's because you don't have a YouTube login, don't be scared of it. It's, it's easier than you think. If you're watching this on a, on a smartphone or a tablet that's an Android, you have a Google account already. You have to have a Google account in order to use those devices. It just won't work without it. And Google and YouTube are all in the same family. So if you want a YouTube login, which you do, so you can, you can subscribe to me, just click you know new user or whatever and it will YouTube will recognize that you already have a Google account and it'll just be click click and, and that's it and then you can subscribe and leave comments and you won't have to search for my stuff it'll just pop up when I have a new video come out and that'll just it, it'll make it'll make me happy man it'll put a smile on my face I work pretty hard on these videos and I know that I know that this uh, information helps you or gives you something to do you know the feedback from the comments and all these views I know that this stuff is, is helpful and, and and cool to a lot of people so hey subscribe please do click the like button and uh, this right here ring the bell so you don't miss my next video and until next time Simba and I will see you here okay all right Say bye, Simbas. Say bye bye. Over there. Hey, over here. Ooh, is that the spot? Ooh, right there. Well, that's a good one, huh? Goodness gracious. <laughs> Wonder what that feels like. I mean, he, mm, he's into that. <laughs>